Sorry about that. Okay. Um, okay. Got it. Got it. Okay. It's just, a, it, I believe it's only going to, because I've got it on spotlight, it'll only record the spotlighted stuff. So, um, okay. This design is called Fabergé by Laura Ayler. Let me move this up so you can. And this is done in Jilly, in Gold Experience and Indigo. It's sort of, yeah, it's sort of like a Fabergé egg. And then this one is a uh, Stephen West called Smock It. I, I don't know what, oh, I, I'm afraid to take it off the mannequin now, but it looks like a lot of fun. So it's knit sideways and then it's got the smocking down at the bottom. It's done in smushy with cashmere with one skein each of pickleball, time away and uptown electric. That's a shawl though, wrapped around the dress form. It's not a garment. Yeah, it's a shawl that's been yeah, here, shawl. yeah. Actually, I'm gonna yeah. take it off so you can see it. It's super pretty. Yeah. 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 There we go. There we go. Oh. Wow. So it's sort of a fade. Yeah, this is a yeah. lot of fun. This is a lot of fun. Yeah, so yeah, yeah it's a fade yeah, and then it's, it's got, faded, it's got it's faded both ways. Basically, it looks like you knit from you knit from side to side, side and then you do the, the the edging down here and you do three, you do your three colors there too. So it's Stephen West and it's called Smock. Um, I will. And then this is one of my favorites. This is Kathleen's. Um, Carla, do you have two speakers on? It's. We've, I didn't think I did. Didn't think that. That. I'm getting. I didn't think I had. It's better now. I, I think somebody yeah. wasn't muted. I think it was me. I'm gonna put myself on mute. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. We're good. All right. Um, this one is Casa Pinka's All Points South. It's sort of a, a poncho, but you know, um, those of you who are familiar with Casa Pinka knows that her daughter does not approve of poncho, so she does not do poncho patterns. She does non-cho patterns, not a poncho. Um, so this is, are you getting a? Well, I don't know what you want me to show. <laughs> okay. This is, um, so it's, there's a lot of different ways you can wear this and because it's got really long on one side and, and shorter on the other. So you can wear it with like the long part in front or you can do it on the side. Um, and uh, this color combination, uh, this is the first one I've seen in this color combination and I love it. It's um, Bermuda teal and burr and um, Cedar Creek, the gray. And I just think that's a beautiful color combination. And this takes fingering weight. So it's a smushy with cashmere. Let me hang this back up. And then also, actually, Curtis, if you could turn around, this is also the same design in different colors. So here you can see it's worn like a poncho with the long part in front. And this is also was done in smushy with cashmere. This is um, bedtime, text mex, and the other sunset. Uh -huh. Purple. Yeah, I think it's good. I, that's a little wild, but the colors go so beautiful. I know, I know. I love, I've, I've, I still have not knit this. And I really, really want to. I think now that I've seen it again, I have to. I, oh, and the, I love the Bermuda teal one. Okay, so what's next? The next one, oh, this is 
Wildwood, and actually, oh, let me just take this down for now. Wildwood, which was the um, guild knit along last year, and I did this one actually. So this was Jilly in three colors, and it's Wildwood <laughs> by. I can't remember who's. They are actors. <laughs> That's gorgeous. Andrea Mowry. That's Andrea funny. Mowry. That's okay. right. Thank you. Yeah, yeah so that's some um, yeah so that one is done in jilly which is a single ply which we carry a little bit of jilly um and uh, we have some we've got uh, and there's some in the for the trunk show too and then this is funny because this top may seem familiar but not familiar I'll take it down so you can see it Actually, this was Emily's sweater, and um, they liked it so much that they knit their own sample for it for trunk shows. Mm -hmm. So this is Summer Sorrel, That's cool. and it's done in Smushy with Cashmere with Eaten the Plums, the 19th, and Hello Dolly. And actually, Emily knit one for herself, and she had enough left over to make one for um, Gracie Ann for the baby. They look so cute. I think the baby's outgrown it by now, though. And okay, let me put this back up here. There we go. And then up here, it's um, shawl florette. The yarn is regular smushy. That's that's the regular just merino, not smushy with cashmere. And the designer is millistrick. And the colors are strikes twice and black pearl, which is a gray, but it's funny because it looks really. The gray looks really green because of the orange and green in the other color. So there, those are the samples, except for a hat, which we'll get to when we get around to the table. Where did that come um, What? Are we... I'm gonna tell you next. Let's go here. Okay, this is their new, this new savvy, um, super bulky. Um, we saw we got five colors to start out with, just five. Um, it's uh, it's um, it's a lot like Rasta, even What's softer that? if it's possible. It's softer than Rasta. It's, for baby it's, it's not cashmere, but it's great for baby blankets. So, Carla, do you think that would pair with the Rasta? Okay. Yes, it would. Okay. Because it's um, so this comes in two hundred gram skeins with 100, 130 yards. And the um, Rasta comes in 150 gram skeins at 90 yards. So they're very, they're, they're very close. And I knit with Rasta all the time and I just started knitting with this. They definitely, they'll pair together well. As a matter of fact, I'll try some of my Rasta on this thing I'm knitting now in, the, um, in it just to make sure. Um, so yeah, so we got these. Um, this, this is brand new, it just came out. And so we got these, um, I was trying to figure out what colors would look best because there weren't samples yet of the colors. So, um, so I got Kyoto Sunset, Blanche Floor, Whetstone, Sonoran Magic and um, Mermaid Shoes. I love Mermaid yeah. Shoes, that's so pretty. I know it's a. I, I finally when I finally knit up mermaid shoes a couple of months ago, I was like, wow, this is a this is even more gorgeous knit up than it is in the skein. Um, so we got that, and then um, we normally carry Billy Kid Silk, but we've got they brought they sent a whole bunch of new pretty colors. This is um this is the silk um, mohair um silk mohair blend um that uh. <laughs> we have a very tired yarn shop baby this is um it is 70 percent kid mohair 30 percent silk <laughs> um and uh it's uh these are 25 gram skeins i think they're oh i forgot to check um i think they're 17 dollars now 16 17 um, uh, they're 25 gram skeins for 225 yards. So this is like a lace weight, but it blooms a lot because it has the mohair in it. And it's often used for care. It's, it's like, it's like kid silk. Um, it, um, a lot there, it, it's basically the kid mohair, the silk mo kid blend that, um, that everybody is doing right now. That's, um, done for a carry along in a lot of, um, 
in a lot of designs. And I actually have test have tested this together with Smushy with Cashmere. And oh, it just has a dream drape and it would be wonderful. It gives you a sweater gauge too. So we have um, so we have that in a bunch of colors that we don't normally have. And actually we've been so busy today and um, Mona put most of this up. I'm seeing some of these colors for the first time right now. And I'm just like, wow. Which one is this? Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, Kyoto Sunset. Oh, I love that. And this one is Catching Stars, Tucson, um, Elysian, Below Horizon, Brilliant, <laughs> um, Out Beyond. It's just, oh, beautiful. If you want us to do a close up of anything, let me know. Which one is this? Oh, Secret Garden. It's your brains. Yeah. Oh. It's beautiful. Uh -huh. um, so, so there's that. And then, um, so then over here we have these baskets of um let's see what do we have um this this these two baskets here are smushy the regular smushy so it's uh fingering weight 85 percent merino 15 percent nylon so it can be used for socks it's 20 i think it's 28 dollars a skein and these are mostly one of a kinds oh no there are some there's a, a whole there's a combination all different um Sort of a, it's a sort of a smorgasbord. Um, Kiss me, Kate. Mermaid shoes. There's a mermaid shoes in here, and um, so I haven't I haven't had a chance to look to see exactly what's in here. But there's oh fond memories. So there's a variety in here, and I'm hoping that well once we get settled in a little bit, I'm going to put together some. Um, I, I'll see if I can put together some kits too for you know two skein and three skein kits. Oh, this is a one of a kind. Oh, look at that. It's like, it's, it's almost black and a little gray, but also kind of purple and reddish. That is really pretty. Can you, is it? Yeah, it's a really oh. interesting. Pardon? There. Um, so there's the smushy. And then here they sent us a sampler of, they have a uh, several bases in uh with in bfl blueface lester that we haven't carried just because you know i i can't pick just 10 colors or something of a dreaming color yarn i have to get a whole bunch so i can't like get all the yarns because i can't get all the colors and all the yarns um curtis won't let me <laughs> mm -hmm. um uh, oh this one isn't i'm sorry this top one is not bfl this is a yarn called bonnie it is a super fine merino, meaning that it's got a really low micron count, making it even softer than most merino, which is you know normally soft. So it's a super fine merino. It's um, super wash. It's a two ply. It's a um, four hundred and twenty um, yards for four ounces. And let me grab. I'll be. I'm going to grab my price thing so I can tell you what it costs. Tell me what it costs. It's 30, $31 a skein. That's for a skein? $31 a skein. Um, and it's basically, we just have a small sample, just what's in this basket right here is, um, oh, look at that one of a kind. This is unusual. So this is, so this is such a fine merino. This is definitely, um, definitely shawl or um, you know, possibly sweaters. And any of these yarns, if you, um, if you want, we will order any color in any base that D Dreaming Color does um, if, for you if, you, if you really want something. So if you decide you really um, want some of this Bonnie in, um, in say, uh, mermaid shoes, uh, we will order that for you. Um, and it's right now it takes about six weeks to get a custom order in. So this is a, oh, that's a beautiful one of a kind. 
So that's a very delicate um, merino without any nylon added. And then this one is called Butterfly BFL. And this is blue, blue face Lester, 80%, 10% cashmere, 10% silk. Yum. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's gorgeous though. It is. And they, we've only got like five skeins of it. And like I said, I mean, this is something we could order it in any color. We just have a bunch of, oh, this is Relish the Vote. I think that's, this is two oh, yeah. or it's something else. Oh, and wow. then, yeah, so we basically just have it in these pinks. But if you really like this blend, oh, um, yeah. we, we could order it in anything. Let me check the price on that. It's, that's $33. And again, it's, uh, um, let me check again. This is fingering weight. It's 420 yards, four ounces. So that's $33. And then um, I will pull the, okay, I'll, I'll bring these up. This is called Bobby BFL. It's um, fingering weight and it's 85% um, um, superwash BFL and 15% nylon. So this is a good sock yarn. This is, looks like time away, or though these are one of a kinds, but they look like, sort of like time away. So we've got, and again, this is a very small selection. This is just a, just a sample. Oh, these would make fun socks. Look at that color. Those would be really fun socks. So we basically only have seven skeins of this. Here's another fun color. Sorry, my movie. I'm sorry, I'm jerking around. You're such a good cameraman, Curtis, because you managed to follow me, even though I don't give very good cues. Yeah, Curtis. Uh, <laughs> so, um, all right, so those are the BFLs in these three. Um, and then this is, these, we've got a whole bunch of Jilly in a bunch of different colors. Um, Jilly, that's their, um, the single ply merino, 100% superwash merino, 440 yards and four ounces. And this is loose gems. This is a single ply. And unlike most single plies, this does not pill, but when, as like most single plies do. I, um, I, uh, Veronica and I have had this discussion many times because I originally did not order this because I don't, uh, I once ordered, I once made something out of a single ply and it pilled like crazy and looked awful and I wouldn't, and I, so I decided no more single ply. And so I never ordered this. And then she and I had a talk and she said, my single ply does not pill. And she pointed out that all of the, um, she had all these samples that, you know, were several years old that have been like, you know, tossed around shows and yarn shops all over the country. And they, and indeed they had not pilled. So this is a, they're the, one of the reasons why I love Dream and Color is the quality of their yarn is really, really good. It, um, it holds up, it lasts. So um, there are a bunch of different colors here and we could, so I'm thinking like we might be able to put together some good kits for, um, I think we could probably even get a, a uh, sh shawlography, the Stephen West mystery knit along or three different colors for the festival of stitches for, um, uh, for the, uh, for the guild knit along. Um, so we will be putting together, um, some color combinations and I'll probably post the, some of those on Instagram. If you're interested in, um, in seeing any combinations and you can't come in in person, um, give a, uh, let, let us know and we can set up a time to like, um, to, to go over the colors with you in, in depth, in detail, if you'd like. I thought I'd have more, uh, some combinations put together by now, but we, we, um, it just got crazy. Oh, look at this all American hand. This is gorgeous. Wow. And if you see anything in particular that you would like, you can you can message us. You can you can just say say so, or you can send us a message. We'll hold it for you. Um, if you um, you know we'll we'll um, 
we can send it to you. We'll hold it for you until you come in if you're coming in in person. But oh, these are these. This is gorgeous. Mm. And I think it is. Oh, this is this is interesting. This is Desert City Wattage, which is orange and pink. I never would have thought that I. Ten years ago, if you told me I'd like orange and pink, I'd say nah, never. I there's something about this color that I just really love. It's orange and pink, but I love it. Gorgeous. Yeah, uh, Veronica. It looks like it's on are... fire in your hand. <laughs> it does. Yes. Yes. There's one more down here. I got to pull out and see because it. Oh, this is. This looks kind of like electric. Um. That one something called, called electric, but it's a one of a kind. That's really pretty too. Okay, so then we have oh over here I wanted to show you. Um, so we've got we've got uh, thirty some colors of the new Suzette yarn, which I'm curious uh, you can show them. That's what's on the. We still haven't taken them all out of the bags, but that's what's over there in our wine, um, in the wine bins. Um, this one um, I had pulled out because, you know, we have these new, um, we have these new fur pom-poms. They're real fur, they're fox. Um, some of, well, we have a couple of raccoon ones, but this one is fox, dyed fox. And they're made in the United States by furriers here. So they're not imported. They're, um, they're actually made by a, by a small, a small furrier um, uh, a company in um, on the East Coast. Anyway. This is burr, the color oh. burr in the Suzette yarn, which is their new sport weight, 50% silk, 50% merino. And this, this pom-pom just goes perfectly with it. That's what we noticed, so I wanted to show you that. I love this, I, I had to get this color. They have so many different colors, it was so hard to choose, but when I saw this one, it was like, oh, I gotta have that blue for sure. Um, so that's the, um, the new, the new um, Suzette is $32 a skein. I'm going to be taking pictures of all the different colors because we will be carrying this on a regular basis. And like the Cosette, we, um, we're going to be carrying all of their colors. So um, we just started with initially around 30, but we'll be getting more in in the next um, month and a half. Um, and then everything that's here on the table is, um, is smushy with cashmere. You know, we have a whole triangle of um, uh, a whole big display of, of smushy with cashmere of the regular colors that we carry all the time. This is what they send for the trunk show. And a lot of these are one of a kind, meaning they're, um, they were either experiments or they, um, or um, they didn't quite, they were supposed to be a certain color, but they didn't quite turn out the way they were supposed to. And, um, or like this one, this looks kind of like one of their regular colors, but it's got a bunch of splatters on it of dark. These are like dark teal splatters. And so that's fun. Um, and here, I think there are so many possibilities in this group um, for um, some Stephen West uh, shawlography kits um, and for some uh, um, Festival of Stitches kits. Um, like, you know, like these colors go really well together. I'm sure we can build five more with this. Oh, look at this. It's a green with some blue in it. Um, so I'm going to be spending a lot of time this weekend playing with these colors because, oh, that's, this is one of my favorite colors. It's called Leia Rose. Um, and then there are some, you know, of course the fun multicolors. Uh oh, that's your phone. Okay, here, I'm gonna take the camera for a minute. Oops, sorry, we, oops, camera fail. All right, there we go, sorry about that. No, nope. oh, I think the battery just went dead on our, um, I'm sorry. The battery just went dead on the thing that we um, we used to stabilize the camera. So I'm going to take it off of there and try and hold it steady. All right, that's right. You got to hold it steady because that, that thing went dead. Um, 
so there's a bunch of some of these I think were experiments for um, uh, or tests for their um, for their uh, pop up club colors because I see things that look sort of similar to the pop up club, but they're not quite the same. There's some beautiful colors in here. This one looks a lot like Sonoran Desert, which is one of their new colors. Um, oh, this is really pretty. And, oh, that's interesting. That's really different. There's so much, um, oh, there's so much. This looks a lot, oh, this is Secret Garden. So that, this is the same, um, let me get the secret garden from over here. So if you wanted like a dark moody, very, if you wanted a dark moody, very um, complex looking sweater, this would be gorgeous held together. Um, oh, and here's, here's another, oh, this is called Quirky. Oh, this one was dyed, oh, look at that. It was dyed exclusively for the Loopy U, but we got one, don't tell them. <laughs> um, and there's another one I saw just a second, I'm gonna grab it. I think this is like Eaten the Plums, which is another one of my favorites. It's kind of a, lots of burgundies and purples, but this is even darker and it's got more gray in it. I think it's really pretty. So it's always so much fun to go through the one of a kinds and um and um and and play with them and so we will i will be putting together combinations also fade combinations too with the um with these uh one of a kinds oh like those would look good together with something else um uh and i will post pictures of them um for those of you who can't come in in person but I'm hoping that some of you will be able to come in in person. We we would really we really are looking forward to seeing people this week. Um, let's see. So that's oh, and this other sample. This is a uh, this hat. It's called scrap yarn hat, and it's made with um the. Uh, the main color is Time Away in Smushy with Cashmere, and then it has two mini stains in it um, of the contrasting colors. That's kind of fun. It's called Scrap Yarn Hat, and the designer is, I don't know how to pronounce that, so I'm going to let you read it. So, um, and let's see. So here's the the coats should be, uh, oh, we've got some one of a kind Cosette over here. I forgot about that. Um, oh, that's fun. That's pretty. Cause this goes with, this looks a lot like, um, oh, this is Sundance. This is their new color in Cosette, Sundance. And this one looks like it, it would look really nice with it. Um, and I'm not sure if this is. That yeah, so this is not one of a kind too. It's just too little, way too much of, you know, it's so dark. And oh, this is pretty. This is, this doesn't look like anything, anything I'm familiar with, but that's really, really nice colored speckles. Lots of neutral colors and then some, a little, you know, just, an, just enough of some bright colors, but not too much. It's really pretty. And then down here, Oh, this is, I, oh man, this is, this sometimes Secret Garden comes out looking almost like this. Look at those golds. This is a one of a kind. That is beautiful. Oh, I love one of a kind. What's this one is also one of a kind. This one looks a lot, I'm gonna to have to tell, somebody was asking if their latest club color was available in DK. And this is a lot, this is pretty close to their latest club color, but there's only, I think there's only one skein of it. We might have another one. Oh, look, these, these are, no, they're, they're not, they don't match. They're, they're, no, they're, they don't match, but they go together well. 
um, and this one has similar colors, but it's a little different. It's really fun to put fades together of colors that are almost the same, but not quite. So we've got some, um, in addition to, we have like 200 colors of Cosette Decay on, in our, on our regular display, but then we also have these fun um, one of a kinds two to play with. And then that's, F oh, um, in the Suzette, they, um, we happen to get these colors in just these little bags and they, these, uh, they just make really nice. Um, these are really nice combinations. And I was thinking they'd be great for Festival of Stitches. However, I figured out that um, you'd be playing yarn chicken if you tried to make um, Festival of Stitches out of um, Suzette, unless you got an extra skein of some color to, um, you have to be prepared to have to ship to another, to, to, to a fourth skein at some point. Um, because it's basically the, the pattern calls for about 374 yards was how much somebody used. And there's 370 yards because this is oh. a story. It, um, so yeah, I mean, you're really cutting it close. So you'd either have to, you know, figure out how to make it a little bit. Sh well, actually it's a complicated pattern. You might, um, yeah, it's, <laughs> It would be an adventure and you'd better have a fourth skein just in case, unless you really, unless you really like living dangerously and you really enjoy yarn chicken. Um, but I thought those, I just love the way those colors came, were, look together. And we do have, actually, we do have these colors in Smushy with Cashmere. So we could put this kit together in Smushy with Cashmere. And I think we have these colors too in the Smushy with Cashmere. Um, and then, so over here is, um, we haven't taken it out of the bags yet. I still need to photograph it all and put it up on the website. So this is the, um, the new Suzette. And so these are mostly regular colors. And they look a little different with a different blend because this has a very high silk content and it's, you know, it's 50% silk. So it takes color a little differently. So this is Riot Girls. And this is, it's a lot more intense than Riot Girls often is um, in some of these contrast colors, but it's beautiful. So um, I will be taking pictures of each of the colors and getting them up on the website, um, hopefully by the end of the weekend, but you know, it's Yarn Crawl weekend. So um, I can't really promise anything um, with, uh, we never know how, crazy busy things are going to get during yarn crawl. We hope they're going to be crazy busy and I won't have time to do anything. Um, let's see. The Kyoto Sunset, which is always one of my favorites, is here. Um, and that looks really good. Is this the, oh, this is Revenue Blue. I should take that, wait, let me take it out of the bag. Looks really good with that. So that's, that's what we've got. Um, did I miss it? I don't know if I missed it. I don't think I missed anything. I think I covered everything. So um, thank, you. Just, uh, thank you for joining us. And um, if there's anything you want to see more, find out more about, or you want us to send pictures, you know, you know how to get a hold of me and Emily, we'll be glad to. I'm sorry, you need to, okay. Well, all right, I'm going to turn this around. Curtis has to, uh, just a second. Okay. Um, all right, so um, I'm going to actually, I want to move back to um, where I can see. Okay, so um, if anybody has any questions, let me know. Do you have any, does anyone want to ask any questions now? Hey, Carla, can you hear me? Yes. This is Michelle. Um, how do we participate in the virtual yarn crawl? Um, oh, okay. The way that, um, the way we do that, actually, you know what, I'm going to turn this off and for, I'm going to switch over to my other, can't just a minute, the other camera. Um, no, sorry about that. No, sorry about that. Oops. All right. Oops. 
All right, All right. got rid of the echo. Get rid of the remove the spotlight and I'm going to stop the recording now.